Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Bedrock Edition uh, Advanced Machinery tutorial. So, we're this this uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the the auto sieve. Uh, we've talked about the manual sieve and how it will sift gravel and sand to get your resources. And this is the auto sieve does the same thing except it does it automatically. And as you can see, we have the the cobblestone moving across the the crush a crusher right here converting it into gravel which then gets sieved uh, or sifted and then you've got the resources heading down the track here and we're using the new um, new conveyor belt conveyor blocks now you notice that here we're using an advanced conveyor because uh, when I was doing it before the normal conveyor was actually moving slow enough so uh, across the the uh, crusher that the gravel was actually turning into sand before it finished traversing across. So I switched over to the advanced, uh, switched over to the advanced conveyor and it's working just fine. Uh, I did have a problem though when I logged in here a, a minute ago, uh, the crusher wasn't working. So I broke it and I put it back and it started working. So that may be an issue uh, just to keep aware of, you know, there may be bugs in, in the new stuff and, you know, he may have to, uh, I emotionalist may have to patch it. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now, one of the products you'll get is coal. And when coal comes across one of these combustion generators, uh, that's empty, it's going to activate it just like that. And you'll, and you'll have a, a little bit of uh, power generation. As we looked at last time, the, uh, Combustion generators generate 24 RF per cycle. So yeah, it's a nice little addition here. And then I just have the have the materials drop into a hopper and then go into a chest here. And as you can see, you're getting all, all these different kinds of resources. Uh, now the amethyst shard is from, I think from sand, so we get we must have it must have converted one of those blocks into sand now that was gravel there well you might have to just keep an eye on that it looks like it's working fairly consistently but there may be some there may be some glitches in there it's not a big deal as long as you get as long as it's mostly gravel you get sand every once in a while i don't see that as a as a big issue and, and i got cobblestone because i had broken the block and, and replaced it so let's take a look at the recipes real quick on these items. Just so you get an idea. Yeah, see, there's some sand right there. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Oh, I'm in, I'm in survival. I can't do that. <laughs> I have to be in survival to look at the recipe. So, okay, so the, the uh, cobblestone generator is, we've seen that before. That's relatively inexpensive, not bad. Now the crusher is a new one. Let's take a look at that. And we did take a take a glimpse of it last time. Two red block, two redstone blocks, and iron. Not that big of an issue. The combustion generator. Uh, a little bit more expensive. You got four of the redstone blocks, but the copper. But as you can see, let's take a look at what we're getting here. This hasn't been running hardly at all. Hardly any time at all. And uh, we've already got, I mean, you got tons of redstone, plenty of iron. I don't think generating any of this stuff is going to be a huge issue, really. Let's see. Uh, now, the advanced, whoops, I keep doing that. The advanced conveyor, a little bit more expensive. Uh, that diamond there in the middle is going to... Now, obviously, you won't have the auto sieve. Uh, so we've got 30 diamond nuggets, so that's going to cover that nicely. You're not going to have the 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 uh, this. You're not going to have all of the resources available to build this system. So my suggestion would be first off to build the auto sieve. Where'd it go? Nope, that's the void miner. Uh, there it is. To go ahead and build this first. So you have to use your manual sieve to get enough 
of the iron nuggets in order to build this. But once you build this, it's it's automatic. So the um, here, let me um, let me see if I've got enough here to to do it. You can see how it's you're getting tons of resources, practically in no time at all. Yeah, let's uh, cut that over. Oh, we just have enough for one. Okay, so let's switch over to... There we go. Oh, I got one right there. got one gravel now on the manual sieve you know it takes several several uh, uses for it to actually go through the sieve it gets a little animation it gets lower and lower but the auto sieve it does it just right away boom so as you can see this is a lot a lot quicker so I would recommend you building the auto sieve first just so you can get the resources a little faster. You know, get your cobblestone, pound out a few uh, chunks of blocks of gravel, and then just, you know, sit here and just go through and manually put it through the auto sieve. It'd be a lot quicker and a lot easier to, to mess with doing it that way. And uh, you'll get your resources for the rest of the, the setup in no time. Let me just clear this up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this real quick. And as you can see, it's super duper simple. So we start with our cobblestone generator, just like, uh, just like normal. Then right after that is the crusher because it's going to push it across. And as you saw, now why is that moving across like that? That's interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. It's oh, you know what? It's just popping over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's what it's doing. Interesting. So we have the the um, we have the cobblestone generator, and we have the crusher, which turns the cobblestone into gravel, and then that's going to feed into your auto sieve. And the first setup on this, I would, I would, this is what I would do. I would just do these components right here. Now, we're going to use the normal conveyor here, but we're going to use the advanced conveyor here, just so the items, just so the blocks will move across and not turn into sand. And then we'll go back to the normal here, and this is going to drop it into a hopper. So now the reason I suggest doing it this way to, to get started and, and to forego the combustion generators at the very beginning is you want to collect your resources. And this is really the simplest way to do it. You know, get you enough resources to do the auto sieve, sieve out your re remaining resources that you need to, to just do this setup here. And then, you know, as you can see, you really start gathering a lot of resources here in a shorter period of time. And let's let this run for a while. You, you have plenty of power. Your lava generator over here is is producing tons of power. I mean, we're, we're still at 99,000 RF. So power isn't going to be an issue. So generate up your resources and get it. And once you get your five resources here, then you can go ahead and and add in your combustion generators. And this, you would just simply, you know, I would add, I don't know, I always like three. So I would add three in there, <laughs> add as many as you want or whatever. And you don't even need to, to add any combustion generators to the system. 
really. You don't, I mean, it isn't, it isn't a priority. It's just a good way of making this system here, this, this industrial, uh, this, what do you, what do you want to call it? Not assembly line, manufacturing line. It kind of makes this manufacturing line self-sufficient. Then the last thing, of course, would be just to add in your add in your your blocks to keep them from popping off because they will every once in a while. It's it's not that big of an issue with uh, this particular setup, but yeah. And I added a block on the end down there to keep from accidentally picking up items, but it's not really necessary. Once they hit that hopper, they they should drop down in there pretty well. So there you go. And as you can see, we're now generating power. And it kind of it makes this uh, generation line, makes this um, ore line self-sufficient, I think. And it, it's just, you know, if you got the extra resources to do it, you might as well. Because we're because we're generating plus RF here. And you're going to need the RF down the line, believe me. Uh, especially if you get into some of the other mods. Because they take quite a bit of power. So there you have it. Very quick and easy. And this will give you a ton of resources. Now the downside on this is you get the nuggets and not the not the actual ingots. And even though it's not difficult to convert them over, especially if you use the recipe book. But the, the, the uh, void miner... Where is it? The void miner here. Well, actually, actually give us the the um, the individual ores, and those individual ores will see. There you go. See, they, we get the individual ores, and we can use the mechan mechanical furnace with those with these ores to actually double it. So we get two. Um, two pieces of two iron ingots rather than just one. So this would be the next step in the process and, and the one that would generate really a, a significant amount of ores that you don't have to necessarily convert from the nuggets like you do the the uh, the auto sifter. But I think the auto sifter is a little bit cheaper and is the logical next step in this progression tier that that we're working through. So yeah, so but we will look at the the uh, void miner in the next uh, installment here. So there you have it, guys. The uh, auto automatically setting up the auto sieve and generating ores, and this will give you quite a bit of ores. So yeah, this is a good a good next step in the process. Now, once you set up a void miner, you could get rid of this theoretically and just go with the void miner. You know, it's totally up to you. I personally, the way I set this up, I did the auto sieve. And I, when I went to the void miner, I just left the auto sieve. Just left it running because it's generating a good amount of resources. It's not difficult to convert those nuggets over to, to uh, ingots. And at, sometimes you need those nuggets. So once we set up our storage system, we can actually set up a storage system for nuggets. So when we need nuggets in a crafty recipe, they're already there. You know, if like if you want to make a lantern, for example, you need the iron nuggets. Uh, we'll have the void miner set up and that'll be generating ingots for it. So we well, can just generate nuggets and keep them just in case we need them. So, yeah, it's not a not a big issue. And, you know, look at this. We're at a very steady 99 RF per cycle. So definitely moving in the right direction here. Alrighty, well, that's it, guys. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next.